Hi guys, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com and in this video we're going to look at something called the intersect command. Most of the commands inside of Fusion under the create menu all have this option to them. So whether it be extrude or evolve or sweep or loft, etc. You're probably going to find the intersect option uh, in the list of options of the command. And so I don't see people using this a lot and it can be helpful in certain situations. So I thought I'd give you an example of uh, maybe where you could use this command to help you understand what this command actually does. So what we're going to do is we're going to remodel this part. And if I look at this from, from the top view, you can see it's just kind of a, a, a rectangular shape with a rounded end. And if we look at it from the front view, uh, we have a couple, you know, just kind of a little cut. So I could, I could draw this, you know, using the line command and then come and add some fillets to the top, or I could create a, a thick extrusion and draw a sketch that cuts it. I could draw a sketch that represents what I want to get rid of on the top and draw another sketch that gets rid of what I want to represent on the bottom. But instead I'm going to draw this a little bit different using the intersect command. So let's go ahead and see how we would do that. I'm going to start a new design and I want to sketch a line and I'm going to put it up on the top plane and I'm not going to be really careful where I draw here. I'm just going to kind of draw out my shape. So that should be pretty good. Sweep my arc around, come back. I'll tie into that point and I'll come back to the beginning. So there we go. That's, that's what my initial shape is going to look like. I want the midpoint of this line to be tied to the origin. So I'm going to use a coincident constraint and notice when I scrub my mouse across this line, it doesn't find anything. However, if I hold the shift button down, now it'll find the midpoint. So I'm going to choose that midpoint. Let me try that again. Hold the shift button down, grab the midpoint and the origin point, and there it moves that line. So the midpoint of that line is tied to the origin. I'm going to give this a dimension of 2.5 this way. So 2.5. And I want the overall length of this to be 10 inches. So to do that, I'm going to click on the first line. And if I click on this arc, it's automatically going to try and go to the center line. So before I place the second dimension, I'm going to right click and choose pick circle arc tangent. Now that allows me to grab that outside point, drag down and place it. And I want this dimension to be 10 inches. We'll just kind of drag that back a little bit. And there's what my initial shape is going to look like. I'm going to stop the sketch. Go to the create menu and choose extrude, grab my region. And I want to extrude this up 2.5 inches. So there's my, there's my initial shape on this part. I'm going to create a secondary sketch uh, to cut out the second shape. So from the sketch menu, I want to do a line again. And this time I want to sketch on that line. And you can see that that, that plane that I want to sketch on is hidden. And so a couple ways I could do this, I could turn the bodies folder off. That allows me to easily get to that plane or I can approximate where my mouse would be over that plane, left click and hold until I see that menu. Then I stop left clicking. I can scroll through my different options and you can see the XZ plane is the one that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And then I wanna see what the inside of this looks like. So I'm gonna slice this. I wanna draw at the origin. I'm gonna come from this point, I'm gonna kinda of drag up and across, and I'm gonna stop right there. I need to project in some geometry now. So from the sketch menu, I'm going to choose project include project. I'm gonna grab this little chunk right there. I don't want that to be real geometry. I want it to be construction. So I'm gonna click on it once and choose construction. And now I can go ahead and finish up my drawing. So I'm gonna say that I want this point and this point to be vertical to each other. And I want the dimension from this line to this line to be 0.375. And we can add some more dimensions here. So I'm going to give a dimension here of say, oh, let's go with three inches. Let's try three inches. And let's, let's offset this first. So I don't want to draw the same shape over again. Instead, this time I'm going to offset it. So from the sketch menu, I'm going to choose the offset. And I want to offset this shape. I'm just going to kind of drag that up. And the offset position is going to be 0.375. So that's going to offset everything about this sketch in one shot. Go ahead and choose OK. Now I want to do D for dimension 
and I'm going to choose this line right here, and I'm going to set that equal if it'll let me. It might not let me uh, change this for right now. So let's give that one more shot. Okay, it looks like it's going to be difficult. So we're just going to add a dimension down here. And we're going to call this 3 inches as well. So everything is now defined. We, we don't see the golden region that we need yet. We see one gold region, but it's not the right one. So we're going to draw a line from here to here. And we're going to draw a line from there to there. Now that sets up the shape I need. I can see that whole region right there is golden. Um, if I want to, I can click on this line and also make it a construction line. And now I only have one valid profile going through there. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop the sketch. And now we can see the intersect command and how that works. From the create menu, I'm going to choose extrude. And I'm going to grab that region. Again, I can either shut off the bodies folder to grab that. Or I can left click and hold until I cycle through. So now that that menu pops up, I, le I stop left clicking. And I can grab that entire profile right there. I want this to do a symmetric extrude, so it goes both ways. But when I pull this, you see the initial thing that it wants to do is to cut. The operation type is cut. I want to use the join, I'm sorry, I want to use the intersect option. So when I go ahead and choose intersect, the only geometry it's going to keep is where the, the original body that I created and this new body are going to intersect, is that's what's going to give me for my final result. So it's, it doesn't really matter how far through I pull this. It's only going to give me the result where the two bodies intersect each other. So I can go ahead and choose OK. And there you can see that I have that shape. Now with a couple fillets. So I can go to the Modify menu and choose Fillet. And I'll grab that edge and that edge. And let's just call this a 0.5 fillet. Click OK, and let's fill it the top side. So we're going to, again, do Modify and Fill It. Grab on this edge and this edge. And we're going to add 3 of an inch to that. So I'm going to say 0.875. Go ahead and click OK. And there's kind of how we can create that shape by drawing two different sketches that overlap each other um, and extruding the second sketch profile using the intersect option to just give us the resultant leftover uh, bodies where they where they intersect each other. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how the intersect command works. And remember, there's many other commands where, you, you'll, where you'll find the intersect. So if I want to go to create and revolve, you can see there's an intersect there. Let's hit cancel, create, loft. Go ahead and look down here, there's an intersect. So all these create uh, options are going to have an intersect command in them. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, I would love it if you'd subscribe. Thanks for watching.